I'm Dr. Christine Seneca at Seven Jupiter, and today we are talking about brain tumors in dogs. Brain tumors are actually relatively common in older dogs. A tumor is an uncontrolled growth of abnormal cells within otherwise healthy tissue. As a tumor grows inside the brain, it will damage and eventually compress normal regions of the brain, causing serious neurologic symptoms. Tumors that originate within the brain are called primary brain tumors. The two most common types of primary brain tumors in dogs are meningioma, which arises from the coverings of the brain, and glioma, which arises from the support cells of the brain. Meningioma is the most common type of brain tumor seen in dogs. These tumors are technically benign in the sense that they do not spread to other parts of the body. However, when left untreated, they will result in progressing neurologic deterioration. Treatment options for meningiomas include surgery and or radiation therapy, which can significantly extend good quality of life. Gliomas can exhibit a more aggressive behavior and can even spread or metastasize to the spinal cord. Typically, these tumors cannot be easily removed as they most often occur deep within brain tissue, but radiation therapy is still an option to extend quality of life. A lot of research is currently being done to find more effective ways to treat this type of brain tumor. Brain tumors can also be a result of metastasis from a cancer that started in another part of the body. These are called secondary brain tumors. An example of this is hemangiosarcoma, which is a type of cancer that most commonly develops on the liver or spleen, but can metastasize to the brain. Primary brain tumors are typically seen in dogs over five years old. We don't know what exactly causes brain tumors, but both genetic and environmental factors are thought to contribute to cancer development. While it's possible for any senior dog to develop a brain tumor, some breeds seem to have a higher risk. These breeds include golden retrievers and Doberman pinchers, which tend to develop meningiomas. And then French bulldogs, English bulldogs, boxers, and Boston terriers, which tend to develop gliomas. Seizures are generally the most common sign of a brain tumor in dogs but signs vary depending on where exactly the tumor is located within the brain. Signs of a tumor in the front part of the brain include seizures, walking in circles in one direction, such as clockwise or counterclockwise, blindness, behavior changes, and head pressing. Signs of a tumor in the back part of the brain include a reduced level of awareness, a wobbly or incoordinated walking, head tilt, abnormal darting of the eyes, and potentially weakness in the limbs. Brain tumors can be difficult to diagnose without advanced diagnostic tools because their symptoms can appear very similar to the symptoms of other conditions. High field MRI is the most accurate tool for diagnosing brain tumors. It allows a veterinary neurologist to clearly view the location, shape, and size of a tumor, providing a much better idea of what kind of tumor it is and how to best treat it. In some cases, blood work, chest x-rays, and abdominal ultrasound are also recommended due to the potential of a tumor being the result of a cancer metastasis. While it's never easy to learn that your dog has a brain tumor, there are treatment options available. These include surgical removal or debulking, radiation therapy, chemotherapy depending on the tumor type, and palliative medications. Surgery performed by an experienced veterinary neurologist can remove some or all of a brain tumor, while medication and radiation therapy are used to shrink and slow the growth of brain tumors. Fortunately, radiation treatments tend to be very well tolerated in dogs. Chemotherapy is occasionally used to treat brain cancers in dogs, and this treatment depends on the tumor type. Typically, this is used when treating cancers that have metastasized to the brain from another location. Palliative care is also always an option, which refers to using medication alone to keep your dog comfortable for as long as possible. No matter what treatment is chosen, our goal is to give each patient the best quality of life for as long as possible. Dogs with brain tumors need ongoing care with a veterinary neurologist. Prognosis depends on the type and location of the tumor, how early it is diagnosed, and what treatment options are selected. With treatment, it may be possible to increase the life expectancy associated with a primary brain tumor to several years, compared to just weeks or months with palliative care. The earlier it is diagnosed, the better the chances that the treatment will be successful. If you suspect your dog may have a brain tumor, visit a veterinary neurologist as soon as possible to discuss your options.